party will be issuing a statement on the recent extrajudicial killings and the increasing deaths in the country. The Law Society of Kenya notes with concern the recent brutal extrajudicial killings and increasing deaths that have heightened over the past few months in our country and vehemently condemned the heinous acts. The recent gruesome and horrific killings, including the deaths of Wells Fargo Group Human Resource Manager, Mr. Willis Ayeko, found dead in Sabatia Vihiga, four days after going missing on the 18th day of October 2024. The 23-year-old Seth Nyakio Njeri found dead in a house in Biafra area in Thika, Kiambu. The 24-year-old Christine Nyakio found murdered in a swamp in Gong after disappearing from her home. Waris Dahab Daud, her daughter and niece, whose mutilated bodies were discovered at Machakos Park and Bahati areas after they had gone missing from Isili, Nairobi. And we also hear today about the Catholic nun who has also been found dead and dumped in a borehole. As we mourn these profound, uh, profound losses, we sincerely extend our deepest condolences to the family and friends of the deceased persons, and we join them in the quest for justice and accountability from the respective security agencies. Article 26 of the Constitution of Kenya guarantees the right to life to every person and further emphasizes the right to life shall not be deprived to the extent authorized by the Constitution or in, only to the extent as authorized by the Constitution or other written law. We note that the recent happenings are an absolute and blatant violation of human rights and the rule of law, and the lost lives have not been accounted for in any appropriate way by the government of the day. We call upon the Director of Public Prosecutions to immediately invoke his powers as donated by Article 157 for the Constitution of Kenya and direct the Inspector General of Police to urgently conduct investigations and prosecute the perpetrators of these extrajudicial killings and involuntary deaths that they be held to account. Further, we call upon the Inspector General of Police and the Director of Criminal Investigations to take the recent wave of horrifying murders seriously and perform their mandate as prescribed under Articles 245 and 247 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, respectively, as they said, officers are sworn to serve and protect the public and uphold the rule of law. The Law Society further condemns the demands the Independent Policing Oversight Authority to embrace independence of the institution, summon and sanction police officers who adamantly refuse to cooperate with the investigating authorities to ensure suspects are brought to book. We as the Law Society will not sit and allow the country to fall back to witnesses and cases of unresolved incidences and the mi mysteries of the river Tana and Yala of floating bodies. In addition, we call on the state, which is mandated to observe, respect, protect, promote, and fulfill the rights and fundamental freedoms in the Bill of Rights as enshrined in Article 21, sub, sub Article 1 of the Constitution of Kenya, to ensure thorough and complete investigations transparency and accountability on all the deaths. The affected families deserve justice and closure. And as much as we may commend the Inspector General of Police coming out to share a statement indicating the current wave of increase in deaths, and we note also with great concern that femicide has sparked again sharply in this country. It's his responsibility and duty working together with the other security agencies to bring these uh, perpetrators of these heinous crimes to book. And so as the Law Society, we extend our, our hand to cooperate with them where they need support. However, we demand that they have all the apparatus that is required to be able to carry out proper investigations in, in this country, that they take up their responsibility and ensure that all these um, heinous crimes, we find who are the persons behind these killings and let them be held to account. Released without any charges, and based on Boniface and his family, I'm sure he'll have also legal counsel. 
We can consult and if they need support of the law society with regards to any further action that they want to take, we'll be able to discuss with him once he's well and ready. This Friday that will be honoring some of um, our heroes, particularly advocates and uh, civil society actors and some journalists who also came out strongly during the Gen Z protest to support and offer free services as well as the medical doctors. So we'll invite you for the dinner. It will be this Friday and we will share invites as appropriate. Thank you.